On May 18, 2014, Iran's Supreme Leader, Ayatollah Khomeini, vowed that, quote, jihad will continue until America is no more, unquote. Khomeini urged his followers that they chant death to America, death to England, death to Israel, because we are, in his words, Satan. So we ask you, Mr. Supreme Leader, who is Satan? One who values life and prays and yearns for peace? Or one who commits murder of innocence and chants for and celebrates death? So we ask you, Mr. Supreme Leader, who is Satan? One who values the uniqueness, human rights, and dignity of each individual? Or one who seeks to control his people and intimidate them into submission? So we ask you, Mr. Supreme Leader, who is Satan? One who values freedom of speech, thought, expression, and religion? Or one who imprisons, tortures, and executes those seeking to exercise these fundamental liberties? So we ask you, Mr. Supreme Leader, who is Satan? Your government, which is the greatest state sponsor of terrorism in the world? or those of us who understand that there is never a justification for the intentional murdering and maiming of innocents and seek to end terrorism in our lifetime. So we ask you, Mr. Supreme Leader, who is Satan? Those who acknowledge the reality of the Holocaust as one of the greatest atrocities in human history, or your government, which denies the Holocaust while calling for another one and is facilitating the mass murder of over 150,000 civilians in Syria. So we ask you, Mr. Supreme Leader, who is Satan? Those of us who pray for a world in which all men will love thy neighbor as thyself, or your government, which unites its followers on the basis of hate, intolerance, and calls to violence. And we ask you, President Obama, why do you legitimize, appease, and embolden this regime? As a nation, we have learned that if we do not stand for something, we will fall for anything. Please stand for security and for the future of our children. Please stand for the value of every human life and the dignity of every human being. Please stand for liberty over tyranny, for civility over savagery, for good over evil, and for love over hate. Thank you. God bless you.